Latency compensation was recently added to Clockstep Multi. Latency often gets discovered while monitoring audio from external sequenced hardware that's returned to the DAW. To give you a general idea of this type of latency, I'll use the click audio in Ableton and compare it to the click audio of Clockstep Multi while it's being monitored back through Ableton. Here's the Ableton click on its own. And this is Clockstep's click. Now listen to both without any latency compensation, and it'll reveal just how much latency has developed for that round trip. I should note that I've intentionally set the highest buffers possible in my hardware for that demo. Uh, the amount of latency won't be the same or as severe for everyone. Now I'll load a preset in Clockstep Multi, which has a latency compensation offset. You'll hear how the two clicks will lock together after one beat. I'll use a musical example with an external synth here in a bit, but let me show you first how to set latency compensation using this click audio. Let's begin with a new preset, and as you can hear, the latency is back. Press the sync button and you'll see there's now a green button and a red button. The green button adds a positive offset in one millisecond increments. And a negative offset is added with the red button. But wait, why are the clicks moving farther apart while setting a negative offset instead of closer together like you'd expect? It's because a negative offset really just begins as a positive offset, but with a twist. There's no way for a device like Clockstep Multi to respond before receiving the incoming clock pulses. It can only respond after. So a negative offset is actually achieved by making a positive offset that's equal to one quarter note. Then when starting the project, a pre-roll of one bar is required. This pre-roll gives Clockstep Multi the time necessary to make adjustments to turn the positive offset into a negative offset by aligning the bars and beats as if they started together from the beginning. If that's not exactly clear, don't worry. I think it'll become more clear as I continue the demo. Now I'll introduce some music to the example. Here's some drums played on a track in Ableton. And here's an external sequence baseline. As expected, because I'm not using any latency compensation, they're not properly aligned. Here it is again with a negative offset dialed in using a one bar pre roll. Now at this point you might be asking, doesn't Ableton have its own latency compensation features? What does this give me that Ableton doesn't? Well first, this isn't just about Ableton, but you're right, latency compensation is available in most DAWs to deal with recording latency. Compensation for monitoring latency may also be available depending on the DAW that you're using. What this feature does in Clockstep Multi is provide latency compensation that lives very close to the external gear and it's tied specifically to clock adjustments. This may be more convenient for some users, and it may even be useful in coordination with other latency compensation features from the DAW, such as recording latency. Or you may not need this feature at all. It's just one of those added conveniences in Clockstep Multi, and it's always nice to have it there just in case. <laughs> 